everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round five of the Alpha Flight Club Championship Qualifiers. I'm super excited to be here. This is our first qualifier out of four for our series that is meant to help players of all levels get some championship level swag and play in a championship level event that is at their level. Super excited about it. My co-host for this round is the one, the only Ryan Staniszewski. That's right. So, okay. <laughs> that's. I mean, you know, it depends. If if somebody's watching this later on YouTube, they, you know, who knows where they came from? They could have been watching up. A... Ooh, you gotta find it. You got. You gotta find it. Okay. Oh, I'm. I screwed it up. Hold on. Da. Uh, hold on. Three, two, one. I'm joined by Ryan Staniszewski. My voice. There it is. We it totally didn't silent. do that twice. It's fine. All right. Well, Ryan, I'm here again. <laughs> Ryan, the voiceless <laughs> Staniszewski. Uh, while I open up the Choose Your Champion poll, go ahead and break down these lists. All right. Let's start with Alex Smittles because his might be faster, even though he has so many ships. Uh, he has all Cartel Spacer M3A Seeks. Two of them have Tracers. Two of them have Tractors. Two of them have Ion Cannon and one with Jamming Beam. What are you even doing, Alex? Wasted card. Get it out of here. Just kidding. Um, and then on to Runza's his resistance list. We have three Red Squadron Expert T-70s, all with Heroic. We have Rose with C-3PO, probably the most common upgrades you see on her, with automated target priority. And then Zari just with Thread Tracers. So using that A-Wing to maybe provide the locks for the... Uh, red experts very interesting opening by smittle um widespread at the start varying up his speeds to probably close in and fully surround this sort of block of ships we have right now on the resistance side while it's not necessary for all the resistance ships to be within range one of each other it is nice for rose to have ships in front of her to get her rerolls but it's interesting to see how quickly runs will try and jump on isolating some of these seeks out because they can't do one straights they only have the one banks to be one of their slower maneuvers unless they do a hard one which many of them would be in a weird position to do so mm -hmm. but the other ones do have five straights so uh we'll see how quickly alex decides to get in surrounding position and how quickly runs decides he may want to jump on a ship that might be caught out like green or red here well, as we get into it, I want to I want to give Alex a shout out because he's doing it right and he's actually saving himself some some mental cycles. We talk about how how your brain you know power is super precious. Let me switch over to this cam. One thing, if you're playing a swarm on tabletop simulator, label your ships. If you have a bunch that have different weapons, you'll see here we got tractor, tracer one, right here ion. Sad jamming beam guy, you know. It's, it's <laughs> I a, just saw that one. It's sad a, jamming beam guy. It's an easy way for that during the game. You don't have to keep going back and forth between the card. You can just go ahead and uh, and take a look at the the specific ship. It is a really easy way to keep track of it because I know if you're playing a swarm, sometimes it can be uh, a little little you know uh, difficult to do. Definitely. Uh, so runs coming in coming in a uh, kind of medium speed here two bank i think trying to catch something in range with the entire block without getting every all of his ships in the range of uh, alex's ships i will say what is dangerous here though is both of the tractor beaming ships are the ones that have shot so if he could pull one in oh that yeah. that could be a danger and you can see there's the target lock coordinate from rose i believe yep this shows you this shows you where that range band extends you got the tractor the green tractor seek the uh tracer black tractor yeah tracer red and black tractor yes so again two tractors one tracer available interesting going for the tracer first might have opted into the tractor but we'll, we'll see Yep, not, I mean, not many shots being exchanged, but if a tractor hits, it's going to be really dangerous for the other ship that gets pulled in. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm a little worried. Yeah, one of those tractors hits you, like you said, you pull it in, you give it the boost, 
action is what ends up happening there. If you're not familiar with the tractor mechanic, by the way, we do have a quick tips video on our YouTube channel. Really easy to find there. Just search tractor on the Gold Squadron podcast YouTube page. And here is our first attack going into the tracer. Now, the reason why this shot has maybe a little less value than those tractors is if that tracer hits, it actually would only give those three ships the two tractors and the tracer a target lock but at the same time ryan one of the things we got to realize is it also if the tracer does end up living and hits it gives those tractor beams double modified shots so it's kind of like you know you got to pick your poison well not only did the uh shot that got three hits by spending a focus from green t70 get all three hits the uh seek the red seek with tracer didn't have to spend a focus and didn't take any damage three of eights out of four e z sorry about the dice cam there was rearranging a couple things on the screen this time though another tractor guy spending a focus defensively decide to switch targets it seems what is happening because he didn't do any damage no other returning fire unless rose can clip somebody no so now that the tracer still has a focus, my assumption is, oh no, we're going to go with that tractor first. I was moderately expecting the tracer to go first to better modify the tractor shots. And spends a focus for two. And that's going that's, to hit. That's a tractor. So small base ships only require a single tractor token to be tractored. We'll see the one forward most likely. You got to you got you got to touch that. There you go. We got it. And that's pulled All right, so in. One less agility does mean the tracer is going to be much more effective now. Mm hmm. This is going to be Incoming a three tracer. on one. Three on one. My heroic is gone. <laughs> this is correct. Heroic does not function on a single agility. Yup. This, this might be an early half on a T-70. Uh, spend one guarantees. You are target locked, sir. I'm pretty sure the only, one that, the only ones that are not going to get it are pink and probably... Yeah, yellow. Yep. yep. There, there's a little Everyone bit else is uh, eyes on the prize. See, and that's the different the difference right now is that if if runs was gonna consider getting shots this turn unfortunately the three bank was the farthest he's gonna be able to go to turn his arc facing the ships which is where what red had to do if green went too fast it would have been kind of caught out as well safe like, on no this damage. shot save yep no damage on the t70 there uh but I think if the T-70 would have went slower, that would have given him another turn to get all guns on fire instead of getting this sort of caught out, someone's tractored, pull him forward, taking some of that damage. Well, we'll set, end up seeing what comes here. Ooh, hit crit going in from the white M3A. That's two it, shields. I mean, could spend he's the focus, focus here. He yeah, focus. He's got a focus. Takes the first shield. Now, with three shots in, he's, that's his first damage that's happened. So not too bad so far. Still has, I think, two shots coming in. Uh, yep, looks like blue here. Were any of them ion cannons so far? No, no the I no oh, this ion is cannon. this is an ion cannon here. Blue, yes, the first one ion cannon, three dice. There's the lock. This could be a really big deal here. Oh, you got one, one fell out the box. I think we're gonna get yep. a reroll on that. Again. Spend oh, yeah, the focus for three. Guaran well, guarantee it damage. Looking for natties here. Got the natties, no ion, uh, but still no takes ion. a shield. Yep. Yellow out. Pink out. So I will say only losing two shields in this opening engagement, not bad. That could have been significantly worse. Well, so the amount of damage he took is, you know, he, he had a chance to be at half. But I think the key was evading getting ioned. That was mm -hmm. a big deal. If he got ioned, um, 
you sure bet he's going to be pounced on. And that also because he's with the leading ship has limitations for what his back ships can do. More particularly yellow T-70 because Zari doesn't care about bumping. Right. Well, let's talk about uh, that a little bit because maybe somebody doesn't understand. What, why, why doesn't it care about bumping? Well, Zari's ability reads, you do not skip your perform action step after you partially execute a maneuver. So... Uh, Renaud here is just choosing to, you know, just keep bumping into the back run of ships, but you you always get your action. So you still have your modifications for offense or defense, setting up, you know, what, whatever you need. But you can end up having Zari still hang out with these slower ships and not... It's kind of interesting to be talking about an A-wing being possibly hindered by its speed. But if you're trying to to use a ship of her of her cost in this type of swarm you know you can her speed can be a problem if you're trying to keep them in a block yep mr rocker cracker in the chat says i am i said i had a blast playing my seven seeks form in space jam oh that was a good time a long time ago our first first attempt at online x-wing championships which is great we've come a long way Come a long way from the rigged beard game. <laughs> oh, man. So the Sikhs are obviously going to pile in and cause some havoc. But the question now becomes, what can runs do to mitigate the incoming swarm? Because it's, it's the way it's approaching is a little bit layered right now. You got... Obviously, four of them right in front of the, the block formation, sort of. Mm -hmm. One's kind of hanging out to the side, being green. And then yellow and pink have this effect where they can three bank in and cause a flank situation and still potentially be close enough to do some range one damage, d depending on where tractor beam effects uh, hit mm -hmm. for Spittle onto runs of ships. So right now... I mean, obviously, red is the most likely to be blocked. Here we go. One bank. Just trying to get on the flank here. Yep. Oh. Getting and in the way of red. Taking, not taking up a lot the space. Of yep. I like it. Now, one of the advantages that Renault does have is he has that higher initiative. All of his ships, initiative three. If you can get some lucky shots in and be able to clear a couple of these M3As before they get to shoot, that's how you can start gaining a little bit of ground against the swarm. Yep. Blue's a spicy one, though. Blue is not going to be the one doing much of the blocking. He's going to be behind the blockers, and he does not have a defensive token because he barreled instead. And that is an ion cannon one, which is one of the more expensive ones. All right. First move fits the one bank to the left. We could already see some fire getting split up, though, with that one bank over this way. Depending on where red T-70 goes, that's... Uh... There's not... It, it looks like we're shots. getting a coordinate. Oh, okay. Coordinate a focus. If you one banks as well, everything could end up going into the black, yellow, or pink M3A. Now, from that, Rose also gets a calculate Calculate. due to C3PO. Yep. Another one bank. Oh, interesting. The he red... went for the 4K. Okay. Tried to slot it in. Uh, that was... If you were doing a, a fast maneuver, I might have gone just say four straight and mm -hmm. then count on the K turn next turn, but that was pretty aggressive because now stress that that ship's out of the game for a bit. I will and say. Zari isn't like the only. I see. It looks like the ship that he's going to probably focus fire on is going to be Tractor 2 Black here for sure because at least Zari does have the tracer in arc. She could boost here, right? After focusing, focus boost she to the could. left. Yeah. Don't know if I would put myself in more danger if you already have the shot. That's true. Yeah, still has the arc on the tractor black M3A. Interesting to see not the tracer going first to maybe make those shots more modded to take care of blanks, but c 70 is going first. Ooh, hot. Debating whether to spend the focus or not. Getting aggressive. Three hits and a crit. Uh, one shield. Ooh, spending that focus. That feels bad. You're hoping to get at least two there. Oh, wait. No, Black had already taken a shield earlier, so this is a crit. It's direct hit. All right. Well. Down to one. 
Better to live than not live. Another shot coming in. Remember, any shooting order is possible because they're all at initiative three. You just got to choose. Going into black again. Hit crit. Two. No lock out there. Two blanks okay. will do it, and that's it. First ship cleared off the board after two shots. Three's still going. Rose. Probably just take the range two. Yep. More likely to be threatening. She'll get one reroll. I mean, and it's it's a it's a tracer M three A. Those tracers do have value. Whiffed on that. Got one friend in the arc. Get one reroll. Blank oh. to blank. <laughs> Nothing. Rose says I coordinated. That's enough for me this turn. Got ATP though. She did miss. Bonus so calculate. Will... Oh wait. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Rose technically had to shoot black. This is true. Well, same difference. I mean, it's the same role. Yeah, essentially oh, nothing side. additional happens, but they still would resolve it this way. I guess it's it's it'd be a range one shot. Yeah. What matters is the crits. Yep. So he pulls another crit away. Yep. Fuel leak. Well, that's a fuel leak, not somewhere else. They just they just did it. Yep. So Zari still has. So Zari's the last shot. Now this is this is actually a potential spot where, this is where I talked about tracers being an interesting point for, um, lists is using tracers after everything's already shot and setting it up for next turn. Yep. Interesting to go on green though, so maybe it's just a regular shot. Yep, no tracer. She's got the two hits. Natty's baby. Uh, yep. Got to spend. Otherwise, it's half. He's He is going to go ahead and spend it. Takes a shield. Takes away a modification on that tractor. And, you know, I, actually, I absolutely love that, that we had that example of advanced targeting priority having a downside there. A lot of people haven't seen that. We haven't had an opportunity for it. And there it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a tracer into the green T70 who does not have a focus, so no defense modifications. And there's your locks. Pop, pop, pop. Everybody get your locks. Everybody. Now lock it out. Now lock it out. Now lock it out. Black should be removed off the board at this point, but I'm pretty yep. sure he'll remember once that's taken care of. He'll probably see it right now. Yep, yep. there it is. Like, oh yeah, you, you can't be here. <laughs> Everyone's got a shot on this T70. This could easily be a dead T70 if we get another tractor on him. But I guess, yeah, he's going to take this shot first in case he wants to tractor and move him. But this, is another, this is another tracer tracer one, so you just fired the primary. Yeah, primary range one. Spends the lock. Ooh. 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 Could have been much better. Skates out of that one. Yeah. All right, so this is where the tractor probably comes into play because he might decide he might want to move him. I don't think he'll move him because he wants his other ships to shoot. But incoming tracer, uh, no, no focus or because he, he spent it. He spent the focus earlier. There you go. So he needs to get rid of him. Oh, he got him anyway. I say he oh, had a target. Lock. He did have a target Heroic. lock. Oh my goodness! Well, I mean, you didn't Heroic. take any damage on the first one. <laughs> All right, so this is White, who is sad jammer guy. Going to take a primary shot. Two on one. And that's one hit. Block. And he'll take two damage. And for any newer players out there, just a reminder that heroic trigger only happens once because it's a. Uh, you cannot re roll or re roll in the game of X Wing. So. And once you have that first opportunity, that's it. Blanks to blanks. Sad, so now sad. we have blue still to go and pink still to go. Mm -hmm. 
what order will he end up going in? Pink is the Ion Cannon. Blue is also Ion Cannon. Yep. Might consider, I think I would do the... Oh, okay. Well, it's not even range three. I mean, with... Yeah, I think you trap him so you can't K-turn or anything. You go for the Ion Cannon. I agree. Yep. Actually, didn't even need to spend... The, oh, no. He spent a lock to guarantee the Ion. So, one damage, one Ion. Lebo 24. Han's ability is not considered a reroll in the game. It is considered a modification. It is. But you can reroll Han and then use a lock to reroll, yes. Yeah. Because he's a Jesus dirty cheater, right? <laughs> it makes sense. All right, here we go. We're going to go primary here, most likely, since the ion effect has already been doing it. No, oh, it's been the lock. Ah, one hit. Oh, man. Some sad damage here. Still took one. Is that half at least? Yeah, it is. Has been definitely some missed op missed levels of missed opportunity damage on tractor ships the past couple turns. Mm-hmm. Agreed. It's still still moderately unlikely he kills that T seventy in this round anyway. Right. But it could have been left with a little less. But now it's ioned. Granted, <laughs> true. runs can go in any order with his I3 ships. So he does have that. That T70 that's stressed is, is, is that's pretty bad. If Smittle can... The next turn is going to be a big deal, depending on how much damage uh, Smittle can do to what's left in the resistance list that's in front of him. Because the front one's ioned. He wished he could probably 4K. Uh, there's going to be some combination of blocks occurring that pink or yellow is going to contribute to. Shazba think... GG, my favorite Brandon in the world. This is not the last game. We got one more after this. Correct. Also, I miss you. Remember. I kind of want to sing the song Remember Me, but I can't because Disney. But it's okay. Yeah, there's a strong chance yellow could go for the block on rose while pink goes for the block on green. And the combination of seat green, red, blue, and white all be counted on to do the damage to finish the green T-70. Now, as we hold out for this planning phase, I want to remind you that all of our rounds today brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code ALPHA2021 for 21% off. Also, I had somebody... That's one more than 20. That is. Blasphemy. It's so crazy. You, just, you should just buy it. <laughs> I also had somebody in the chat ask me the question, say, Dion, do you have a preference between... And me being a Twitch subscriber and me being a patron. Uh, and honestly, the, the Patreon is a better return for both you and for us. Uh, Twitch takes 30%. No, sorry, 35% of, as a, well, as a partner, it's 35%. Oh, partner. Sorry, I'm thinking affiliate. Right. Yeah, affiliate's 50. Uh, but as a partner, it's 35%. And uh, Patreon takes 5%. So... This, uh... I learned I learned that lesson recently. I, I was um, watching a video about platform splits and how much more Twitch takes than just about everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> now, the but difference, how, the difference how is awesome with Patreon is, though, Patreon is one of the best splits for platforms and creators. Yep. So support the Patreon, but also support the Twitch. If you can only do one, do whatever feels best to you. That's but right. As Dion said, the advantage is technically going to go to the Patreon. Exactly. And one of the things with, with Twitch, you can't argue, there's also the free Prime sub, where it's like, if you have Amazon Prime, just Prime sub, just do it. It's free. <laughs> oh, no way. That is so slick. So, for people who might not be able to see this in the chat or uh, on Twitch right now, Red, while bumped, 
into green T70, mm -hmm. bumped into the green T70 first. Now there's just enough space between the green T70 and that yellow seek that is going to dislodge that bump and move forward a little bit and allow red to still shoot at green. Oh, snap. You're right. Yep, there's that bump. So now it's not range. I, I guess I don't technically know, but it's red should not be range zero of green anymore. Because he was able to move. I think they're thinking about that, though. They might be talking about yeah, like how... Would, uh, we'll let the judge make the call on that one. Because he only moved forward directly straight. So theoretically, right. he's still hut which is range zero and you can't shoot at things that are range zero i don't know do i made a call d in here dion you may as well as a as a precautionary yeah. measure just to double check rose looking away probably giving a coordinate to her dad friend who was ioned Go ahead, clear clear out those tokens for you guys. Chat <laughs> is saying a lot of stuff is still at range zero. It's probably not going to be able to shoot, which is most of the time the the um, at the general thought of how this is going to work. Um, but good attempt by Smittle to force that type of situation where it may dislodge the bump even if red had to bump who did who did rose coordinate did she coordinate yellow or because i don't see it oh she's coordinating there it is. yellow okay yep and bumps as well so we'll have yep. a uh, a nice range one shot modified on somebody this is quite the cluster <laughs> right now which m3a's are injured so you have green but he's on the opposite side all the other all the ones that the yellow t70 can fire at are clean yep well except yellow yellow no my bad yellow seek that's a, that's a charge not a not a not a shield all right, so yellow T70 going into a seek that I didn't, I missed who he was going after. I assume red because red does not have any mods, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Went into something with a mod. Went into pink to try and strip that shot back with mods. Well, being able to get rid of that focus could be good, especially that is an ion cannon seek. The pink. It's interesting that yellow T70 opted not to spend the focus. How many shots does that yellow and yellow could be taking has. three or four? It's quite a lot. Yellow is actually taking a lot of shots. Yep. All right, D is on the job. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, okay, my bad. So he shot with green T seventy first into pink. D the now, judge. That's why he didn't spend the focus. Thank you. And Minoc Delta has officially joined the table. There was no damage while I was gone, was there? No. Nope. Good. Just making sure. I didn't see any. They're on table two, right? I might just be curious to pop in there. Yep. Just li li listen to the thought process of Mr. D. I, I can actually listen in here. Let's see. They're gonna con they're, they're gonna consider it still in contact. I didn't get the whole conversation, but I got that last part. So still range zero. Yep, still, still touching. Range. I think that's the right call. Yeah, that makes sense. He didn't fully dislodge. He's not away. He only moved exactly straight, which wouldn't change the angle or bump placement. That's right. And physical X-Wing, you could manipulate that slightly, depending on which end of the template you were using. Okay. <laughs> That T70 decided to turn that way, so still ending up stressed. 
uh, yellow, or not yellow, um, the ion blue seek took a damage from the range one from yellow T70. About to see Zari try and pump in some extra damage. Zari's as consistent, even without optics. So that'll be half on blue. Now let's see how much how much punch can Smittle put into this next turn. <laughs> Sorry, I, I laughed here. Uh, Pedro, uh, I choose violins. Pedro said this in physical X wing. This round would have taken the entire game. You're correct. <laughs> this is the this, <laughs> end of this round. Would have been quite the bumping. <laughs> so green here, who has a tractor beam, is going for the range one tractor beam onto uh green t70 which he will be tractored yep that hits nothing oh, more you can do not going needs... anywhere <laughs> so the only follow-up shots he has are white blue and pink which none of them are modded so having that track to be might be that sort of soft mod he needs to finish off this T70. Here is the first roll. Only one hit. Takes That's one. one. He's got three health left. If one hit goes through each one, that'll do it anyway. If you want to look at the more of the positive light, all you got to do is dodge one, right? <laughs> just, just one. Just dodge one. Okay. So I'm guessing we're going to get blue here. Yep. yep. Blue range one. On average, you're only expecting one hit. Oh, he's oh, so he's doing the ion cannon. Oh, digging for that ion. Well, that's gonna hit. Yeah, at A least damage it gets to and an ion hit. Yeah, you're more likely to get the one hit, right? So if you right. only need one damage from each, you have pink and you have yeah. So he only needs one more damage. Just do the other ion cannon as well. Yep, that's ma that's good math wing there. Go with the your best There's chances the to guarantee. do damage. There it is. That is a dead T seventy. Rip. F's in the chat for runs. One of our true regulars, a real one. The fam. But also, wait, Alex is also part wait. of that as well. Are you saying he's run GSP? Like I, run I, DMZ? I, 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 see what you, I, I see what you did there. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. All right, so I'm assuming now we're going to have... <clears throat> Yellow going to yellow. Does no red does not clip yellow T70, so it's going to be red going into rose. Rose going to have some defensive mods. Does red have any fancy things? He just has a tracer, so no cannon effects, no nothing. So it doesn't matter. That's Yellow's right. just going to see if you can put yellow T70 into some danger. That's right. This is a tracer M3A, likely just going with the primary here. I wouldn't mind him actually using the tracer though. You're not going to get him to half. All and if you want to set up next turn better, we'll see what happens if locks get thrown on him. I don't see a charge spent, so I'm guessing it was just damage. Yep. And I think Zari is supposed to have a stress from the rotate. I just wanted to wait until the engagement finished. That would be true. We should have a rotate. Should Zari B. Oh. Jonah's on it. Rotated, yep. <clears throat> so, with Yellow T70 is kind of behind most of the Seeks. Zari's running away ish. Wrote this. It's all a mess. But I think <clears throat> there is a shot that Smittle could turn everyone towards Red T70. Mm hmm. And have a pretty good another round here. Yeah, he's got a lot of options in that direction. That's when you have these type of swarms and you don't have modifiers because you're bumping. Um, you do you want to try to focus fire on a single target if possible. See, the chat thinks I'm funny. <laughs> you they, are funny. they like they they like the run GSP joke. I I mean I'm I'm in I'm in. And th this is where I would I would uh, I would play the the rap song that I'm working on, but it's not done, so can't. Are oh, so, you actually working on one? Oh, 
I got so many like half baked projects, and it's just one of those where it's like, I I need to not have all the other things to do, and then I'll I'll get to it, you know. <laughs> so now we just need to change the title of that uh, card that was made of you when you had your wisdom teeth pulled. Yeah, Dion Morales half baked. <laughs> nice. That is your new title. I'm still relatively new to all of this, and so I had no idea that it existed. Uh, you don't know there's a so wisdom teeth video? Oh my he god! He has a wisdom teeth video, and oh people took hard. People took a, a snapshot image of that, made it into an alternate art card for Moralo Evol, I think. Moralo Evol <laughs> and uh, also uh, Commander Malrus, the TIE fighter. Oh, yeah. Uh, Commander no. Malrus shoots up drugs to get crazy. Yeah. Can someone get me that link uh, in the chat, please? <laughs> Maybe the chat wants to watch it in our next intermission. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It up. You want people I had to my... around? You make you make fun of yourself. That's, that's how that goes. When I had my wisdom teeth out. My cheeks were like chipmunk sized, huge. Uh, oh my gosh, it was crazy. And the thing is, I do have copies of that that Altar card still. They make they make appearances in the GSP prize pack sometimes. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Libo, it's funny watching Dion's eyes as he's trying to think of answers. Oh, that was a <laughs> nice K turn there, nice. just in front of that debris cloud. Good job. Look at these tight turns. This is, I mean, that's creating a nice you, pocket, right? Like, come, come into the pocket and get ripped. Yep. This this be dangerous here for uh for yellow potentially. Yeah, I, mean, I thought that, that we were looks like a block right there on, too. On, oh, oh boy. So thre threatening the red C70 with blue and white. Yeah. And as but soon as that also yellow red, one... red could also just end up in front of like everyone else too, depending True. on how aggressive he was. If he didn't bank or didn't do a Rose just hanging out there. Rose Rose landed. She gets to coordinate somebody. Yep. Look at that. Also means and she'll be shot and will shoot. That's right. Has the red M3A in her arc just barely. She is coordinating. Probably What's, the yellow. Barrel roll is not available. I know some people might be thinking about it because the wings are open. <clears throat> He's going to yep. take a focus, though. Rose with C-3PO is super valuable. It is, it's, it's costed really well. Oh, hello there. 4K on 4K. Okay. We, we have the really same idea. I really wonder what Red is doing then because if Red decided to cut in... Red just gets blocked, but I mean, if stressed, you know, you're, you're not getting actions anyway. I like this. The two bank and boost. That that might get you around enough to, to focus fire on blue. Ah, uh, no, not boost. Boost is going to get you on blue. But yellow is in quite the situation. Every single Seek is looking at yellow and has a shot. That could be a dead T7. But there are a lot of unmodded shots from the Seeks. The only modded ones are blue and white. Sad Jammer guy and Ion Cannon guy who only has two hull left. But the only shot incoming at him is from the ship right in front of him. The mm -hmm. yellow T-70. And it begins. Rose going to take her first shot range one into the red M3A. Yep, will not have any rerolls from her ability. No one of of her friends are in her arc, but apparently doesn't need it. Uh, how aggressive I, do you want to be? Very. I is think the at answer. this point you have to be. Yep, takes the calculate three hits. Oh, the natties! <laughs> Let's get some natties in the chat. Oh, oh feels no, bad. feels bad. He says no. Tracer one is truly tracer one. <laughs> Can he avoid all damage again? Let's see what the red T70 says about this. Some red on red violence. Yeah, I mean, I think the best case scenario, what Ronald was probably looking for was trying to initiative kill this red uh, yep. M3A. I mean, but that's not going to happen. With the results he got, he had a solid opportunity. Let's see. I mean, you spend that focus. You're, you're kind of behind right now. You got to, I think, uh, yeah, because you, you expect, Runs has to expect most of the shots are going to go at yellow. 
Only one damage. Still Not even gave, giving up half on red. Some good, good, good squiggles there for him. Now, if you're yellow, you want to go at blue. Because blue has only two health left and is an ion cannon. Get a range one, four dice. You got the focus. Get aggressive here. Be, be aggressive. Sufficient. Spend mm -hmm. it. You got to trade some, trade something. This If he has two blanks, it's over for him. Eh, nope. nope. Uh, he's going to evade it all. That's right. I mean, at this point, you have to lean into variance, right? You're, you're, you're getting aggressive yeah. there. You're at the opportunity where you're like, all right, if he, like, I have to spend the focus because at that point, if he rolls two blanks, then he he's dead. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the uh, runs only ended up doing one damage in that all of the shooting is sad. Tractor beam incoming from green here. See if we can set up. Nasty. No mods. Definitely avoidable, and it was avoided. So no tractoring will be in effect here. Heroic will be active, but will does not have a focus for defense. So Here's still dangerous shot. shots. Uh, ion cannon likely incoming here from pink. <clears throat> Range three, three dice. Two. Oh, that's going to be two. Solid. No other mods available here. It's the defense and... That's a damage and an ion. That's right. Remember, crits do not do critical damage on ion weapons. Well, if yellow doesn't live this turn, it sure won't be going anywhere next turn. Yep, still has another shot coming in. Yeah, coming in from plenty, the yellow. Plenty of three. shots. So, regular shot here. Looking for damage. Range two. Just one. Looking for natties. Got it. So then we still just have these range ones. Yep. Three dice take, each. Do you take the primary or do you take the ion? You take take the ion, I guess, more likely to do damage without mods. Yep. Oh. Ionized I mean, and, and damage. <laughs> definitely ion. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be the shields. You got the shields down. You're one away There's from a half. Back of ions in there. Now this one, Mr. Jamming Guy, is going to do regular shot. That's right. Jamming Beam has no value here. Nope. And going to be landing them both. You know, sad That's Jamming half. Beam Guy looking pretty happy. Well, because he's not using his Jamming Beam. This is true. <laughs> he's not well, a sad Jamming Beam Guy until he uses his Jamming Beam. All right, so can Red... The tracer survivor of the round deal a killing blow. Likely not unmodded both ways, but we'll see. But you get to try, and that's you what matters. You get to try. You have a crit. Does Looking it go through? Double damage? It, oh, heroic. Heroic. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Heroic. He gets another chance. Heroic. Another chance. All right. Safe. safe. We're fine. Well, yellow's in Ionville again. Mm -hmm. Or is an Ionville now. Uh, Red gets to play this turn and Zari gets to turn in. Uh, I'm kind of guessing blue just blue seek does a 5k or 3k. 3k could still fit. It would just slide in front of red there and it would stay a tighter move. So three is probably what happens. Mighty, what? mighty moot. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't even have a 401k. You can't bet it. You bet nothing. Uh, got I'm, a, I'm a teacher. We don't get those. <laughs> hey, new from the Tashi station. That is that Alex Middle and Doug Howe are part of. That's right. Matt the Mighty Newt. Hi, friend. What's happening Four, today from the, the 403B? <laughs> Sad teacher retirement noises. Exactly. <laughs> DBS 401k is not yet released. <laughs> Chat's on fire. They are. They're, they're feeling good today. 
Feeling good today. By the way, thank you for joining us today. Who's been here for all five rounds? Let me know who's been here. Who are who are our iron warriors out there? And that includes if you were playing, by the way. Nice. Mr. Rocker Cracker said, my PC has been, I left to get supper at one point. How dare you? I agree. I want to know. So we obviously have had a lot of people who've been here all day. Mm -hmm. Want to know one thing. What has been your snack or food of choice that you have had during this day? That's true. We're polling for food sponsors. We're gonna, we're gonna reach out to Doritos here pretty soon. <laughs> mm, you what you guys want to say? You know, if we pumpkin and ginger soup, coffee, coffee, meatballs, birthday cake, happy birthday, happy birthday, Cheerios to with the kids, you. ordering some Chinese food, eating cookies and ice cream right now, Korean bulgogi meatballs, interesting, Cheetos chopsticks, Doritos. Cheetos with chopsticks? You are, sir, or ma'am, not sure, a interesting person by doing that. <laughs> I was trying to think of a word. Interesting ended up being the only one I think of. You're, it's like the most interesting man in the world, right? He would eat Cheetos with chopsticks. That's right. Someone's eating pickles because they hate you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. Are you? <laughs> No. Pizza, blueberry Belvita. Supper was penne with sausage. I get some interesting foods in here. Sliced apples with chunky peanut butter. This is such great content. I love it. <laughs> well, we got those M3As continuing to swarm, getting in the way of the T70 yep. X Wings. We the saw block that. train is here. The red can Rose get a coordinate to her friends? Reach not yellow, yeah, not the one that wants it the most. So I think this is this is the turn Zari needs to highly consider using a tracer missile, because then yellow has the chance to get a modded shot as well as um, uh, red also getting double modded. But with who's in front of them? Yellow and pink are both undamaged, so there's very, there's still unlikely chance of a killing blow. So it's a matter of the focus boost into yellow, probably has gives the opportunity for Zari and both the T70s to have range one shots, all on seek yellow. All right, Zari took that two turn focus. We'll see if we end up seeing those tracers. Oh, Boosting boost. in, getting aggressive. That feels like a, I'm going to shoot my primary type of move. Yeah, I, I would think so too. I mean, that yellow seek could be getting a total of nine red dice thrown at it this turn. Clear something from the table. No, more. Eleven. We'll see how it goes. That's right. And really, Doug is ahead 66 to 45, but that is definitely a make upable margin if uh, Renaud gets a couple of good rolls and also takes a ship off the board here pretty soon. Yeah. Although I think a lot of the, it's more, while there is obviously that opportunity, ooh, crits. But this is into, there's at least one shield in here. From the Seek Natty's no focus spending. Did I did I just say the wrong name? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I did uh -oh. I just mix Doug and Alex? Oh yay, he did it! Yeah, They're you the said same Doug. person uh, the entire time. Sorry, sorry. They're just both beautiful, nice Doug people. Doug Howe and Alex Smith are secretly one mind. They are the hive mind of X-Wing. Man, chat does not cut you <laughs> any slack. No, nope, never. It, it's fine. I, I. People, hey, no, no, no. I'm back in Dion on this. It's very easy to confuse those two because they're the same person. Hit, crit, crit. Two crits going through. Ooh. On yellow. You're saying there's a chance. Fuel leak. But not going to be enough. Nope. The, there's one. There should be one more shot incoming, though. 
Uno mas? Uno mas? Here we go. The range one. Oh, it's range two. Still has to focus on defense. Only one. Oh, that's not good. That's not enough unless we get a blank out here. Not nope. today. That seat got to, got to keep its focus for offense. This could be similar to last game. This could be one of those turns where a a single round could see two ships die. Both T-70s are on the brink here. And all Seeks have guns on targets. Primary shot range one from red. Oh, that's scary. Mm. Full three. No defense. That is just yellow's pop, dead. Pop, pop. So now all other Seeks, if they want to, can focus now on red who is two from half. So that leaves us with a single X-Wing left alive, as well as Zari and Rose. 88 to 61. Madam Juke, hello. Asking if we're going to be any marbles today. Yes, there will be when we're done with our six rounds. We're actually going to be doing a marbles run to change out some of the emotes in the chat, the ship emotes. We'll be doing a couple of runs there. Have some fun with that. See, yellow did a three dice. I couldn't tell if that was range one or range two. We'll find out if it does damage or if it's it's tracer. I thought it might have been tracer. Because now all the ships that decided to do the K turns, uh, sad jamming beam guy and ion one blue, now have mods. All those target locks set up. See the stack of locks? They're mine. <laughs> Drop them like they're hot. Granted, pink does not have a shot on red, but can definitely just shoot Zari. You know, it's there. And it's got an ion cannon. Zari would not like to be ion, I'm pretty sure. Zari might not have a choice in the matter. We'll see. So just two. Zari still has the focus, though. Likely able to at least avoid the ion. Easy. No damage. So now just two more ships going into red here. Sad. Sad jamming beam guy. Taking a regular primary shot. Bend the lock. Just for one. Heroic! Roll it again. Oh my ah! goodness! We've seen a few of those. We've seen a few of those. Two to be exact, I think. So it takes damage. Well, damage is damage. But, sir, can I please roll it again? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ion cannon we're going to see if he can lock down that ship that's at least the damage we're going to get the target lock reroll no he's keeping it he's counting on it unlikely to be avoided spends the focus to not be ioned surprised he didn't lock It'd be a lot easier to lock him down with that ion than uh I mean, yeah, you keep the mod offensively because it is likely blue is going to just one bank or two bank just bump and just say, I'm behind you, but I still have my lock from last turn. So Exactly. That is a future move thought process there from Mr. Spittle. Now, with 20 minutes and 58 seconds left on the clock, I want to remind everybody that we have one more game today. And tomorrow, we'll be back with a top 32. That means five rounds of X-Wing. Some people have been asking about the final. We did officially declare that our final will be 75 minutes. And what we're hoping to do is kind of establish this idea that the final should have always been 75 minutes. And that maybe, maybe AMG, who, by the way, we asked to be our Valentine. We sent a... Uh, did you we, really we have a, tell that? Yeah, we did. We we sent an edible arrangements. It'll be delivered there in a couple days. All right, like a, uh, a nice reals? one. An edible arrangements. Oh, oh and yeah, everything? no, we have one hundred percent for real. Yeah, that's hilarious. I yeah, love we it. Se we sent it to the to the X Wing development team, 
and say, no, from Gold Squadron Podcast and the X-Wing community, will you be our Valentine? You know, and I'm That's hoping, awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm th- doing it. It's a custom card and everything. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. He only got uh, a little creative with Photoshop. <laughs> so. That's really cool. Is there anybody in the office to deliver, de- receive that delicious arrangement? Wh- who knows? No idea. I'm assuming at least one person's in the in the building, right? The mo- the most in charge person, which might be Simone. We'll find out. Fun walk says 404 X Wing Dev Team not found. <laughs> <laughs> Dion, what's our current score in the game? Current score 110 for Alex and 61, 61. So realistically, if Runs wants to start getting some points back, there's two ships he has to go after to do that. Blue and pink both are two health away from destruction. Pink seems to be the more likely target because Zari can hop over and rotate the arc. And red T-70 at least has the better opportunity to turn on pink. Unless he just takes the chance to say, Red T-70 is going to 4K after Rose already coordinates me from doing, say, a one bank. So Rose one banks, clears the stress, uses C-3PO, throws the focus over to Red, Red 4Ks, and then Zari does like a... Does Can Zari 5 straight without hitting that debris? Yes. So Zari could 5 straight, could 2... Could 3 straight, could 4 straight? Who knows? However much distance runs feels necessary to land focus rotate and then have both the red t70 and zari get shots on if they on the opportunity of blue or pink those are the ships that need to be focused on right now with only two health away I love, I love how the, the chat, the chat's like. But what if they don't get it? I mean, it, the way I look at it is, it is, it is me rolling the dice, and the worst, the worst thing that happens is they don't get it. But you know, there, there's a pretty good upside. You know, it, even if we just make them like smile, like, oh, that's cool. Even if they don't respond, you know, leaving an impression I think is important. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and as an X wing, and I, and I put it from us and you guys, like it's from Gold Squadron and the X wing community. Like that's on purpose. That's like, hey. Thank you for your, you know, for, take take care of us, take care of our game. Please. I think that's really nice. I hope they get it and I hope they really feel that and appreciate it. Same. Tomorrow's my birthday. Can I get an edible arrangement too? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, so pink pink right now is the more likely chance to be the kill shot that runs could be going for. It's going to be hard to get shots on blue. Rose is still going for the two turns. So whatever red's doing, it's not going to be coordinated. There's the K turn. So there'll have to be some... uh, Let's see what Zari does to see if pink ends up being the target here. Solid two bank. Just focus rotate. And if you kill pink, neat. While pink isn't threatening, we got to get points somewhere. Mm -hmm. You have to show us what the card looks like. I mean, it's just the card front is what we were allowed to up upload, and then with the words on the inside. So it's it was the AMG logo surrounded by a Star Wars heart. It said X Wing underneath it. We had the GSP like gradient colors on it. It's real nice, real cute. Real cute like. I would like to note that the color choices by Smittle on his ships are all Power Rangers. There's no I orange think. ranger or, or brown ranger. On Alex Smittle, there is no orange or brown. There is a black and there is a white. What color is this one? 
Oh, it's black. You're right. It was black. You're right. I'm wrong. You're right. Someone super evaded a shot. That looked like pink. <laughs> so Zari was attempting to do some damage to get pink. See, I Our never followed Power Rangers enough to know if there ended up being a purple, an orange, or a brown. Going All into... Right. Interesting. Why would you go into... I mean, so blue is threatening. I get that. But the likelihood of actually doing enough damage to matter to take him off the board in his threatened position is very unlikely instead of doing the range one into pink. I think he's just going for upside. Upside at this point, just... Yeah. Say D one crit goes through on pink and it's dead because of fuel leak. Lean into variance. See tra uh, tractor again. See if you can pull red forward. Uh, Here's the lock. That's the lock. Mm, just one. He's done it before though. Oh wait! Oh. Out of the box. We're not gonna get heroic if it's not saved. It's safe. Safe. We're fine here. How are you? Sad jamming beam guy. Can he get revenge? Oh, that's two. Didn't even need the lock. Natty two. Easy. <laughs> Got two. Is that going to do it? No, he's only one more. I wanted sad jamming beam guy to kill him. I think I got the new isophane emote chosen. I got to work on it, though. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This is red seek into red T70. Going to reroll. Double crit. Can he natty out of it? No. No, no natties. Crit. Red is dead. Rhyming. I'm a fan. I so like with, puns and rhymes. <laughs> with but that, can you pun and rhyme at the same time? That's the challenge. That's true. Alex Middle going up to 132 points with 12 minutes left on the clock. So who Sad hasn't shot yet? Sad jamming bean guy has been doing the work. Yeah. I'm just saying, get that guy a raise. Is Alex? I don't even think Alex Middle's list is a full 200 because I think I've built this before and instead of sad jamming beam guy, I just made it sunny bounder. I think there's room for that, but he might have opted just for the bid just to, you know, choose how his I ones move against opposing I ones. Alex does have a one point bid. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> oh, no heroic for sorry. Sorry no. takes half. Taking the yeah. half right there. That hurts. Shouldn't it be two shields? Oh, no. Ion. Derp. J just gets ionized. No worries. Yeah, don't worry. It's only going to do one straight next turn. It can only focus. It's not a problem at all. Uh-oh. Oh, she hit crit. What do we got coming back? Nothing. Oh, well, Zari has focus. Well, Zari was just made a whole lot easier to catch now. <laughs> Facts. Zari will be going one straight because of the ion. You know, if, if we do just a quick kind of like flow of the game, recap of the game, uh, the early engagement by, uh, by Alex really fa really favored Alex he was able to catch a ship early ionize it kind of pull it out of position and uh, and it kind of went downhill from there we had a lot of a uh, lot of focus fire shots from Alex with multiple different arms we saw tractor beam get good use we saw track um, tracers get good use as well and then in the turns where Renaud had you know, multiple shots on a single target. He just wasn't able to push through the damage. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, you know, that's just sometimes how, how, how it gets written. 
double checking damage cards on some ships here. Just pointing at Zari now. I don't know what the delayed fuses charge is for. I'm assuming that was accidentally meant to grab a focus or an evade for pink. Yep, focus. Everyone's just pointing at Zari. I actually wouldn't be surprised if we see red turn down towards Rose. Mm, I like that. Two bank that way. No, just saying we're putting as many guns on Zari as we want. <laughs> That's, you gotta go. <laughs> See this Rose character over here? We don't care. Still taking the two turn. Interesting. I mean, if you kept doing blues, you weren't going to catch up to anything. Mm -hmm. And here is the range two shot. Zari trying been... to trying to put the team on her back. Gotta go at pink, I think. It's got a fuel leak on it. Two health away. It's range one. That's that's the highest potential uh positive result. Oh, oh, hit, hit there. Crit. there we go. I think you just got to do it, right? Just do it. Like, Lean into it, it, baby. Get it. Hit, hit, crit. We'll see what we get on defense. Can we get a ship? That is definitely a dead ship. Hit. Just pointing at the blanks. I got him. Hit, crit, <laughs> got something off the board here. The pink M3A removed. Here comes Rose. No mods. Probably going into blue. Oh, no. Sorry. ATP has a mod now. ATP. Two dice into three onto blue. Blue shouldn't. That that was, I'm pretty sure, pink's focus. So that shouldn't be blues. Because blue bumped. Rose. No shots really going into her. May as well spend it. Yep. Just one. Trying to trying to hope for something. Hey, hey one. there you go. Sneak them through little by little. Never stop fighting. Never surrender. And here we go. M3A's turn. Trying to get Zari. Ion cannon. Surprise not doing the tractor beam first from green, but... Maybe he just wants to throw damage dice. Oh, no! Blank out. Eyes out. Half points there on Zari. Did Red have that? Prepare the Fs in the chat. Can Zari get enough squiggle? Got Zari it. got squiggles. Now run. Who's up next? <laughs> tractor beam. Shoot the tractor beam. And that sad jamming beam guy can finish him off. Solid tractor beam shot. Especially with no mods. Sorry, save. Pink is dead. That's up to yellow and white. Assuming a primary two on three. And focus for one. One is safe. All right. Mr. Sad Jamming Beam. Can you do it? Oh, no. He must have already shot Sad Jamming Beam. Because now Red is shooting. 
And one hit, one blank. Into Rose. Rose rolling three. Safe. <clears throat> and as we hit into planning here, I uploaded the first option for an isophane emote. Should show up in a, in a minute or so. Probably might, you might need to refresh the chat in order to get access to it. I know it'll take uh, mine a second as well. <clears throat> Just wondering if anybody agrees with me on this, but I think Tractor Beam should also let you do a reverse boost. Kind of pull them in any direction, forward, back, left, and right. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on that? Uh, that was the so... thought originally. The the <clears throat> like a lot of people thought that when when Tractor Beam was first revealed that that it actually would only let you go backwards. That was a lot of the speculation. Um, the side to side makes sense on both ways. The front and back is really dependent on on the directionality. I think of your ship because you think like inertia is sending you with your ship in a certain direction. Yeah, it's it's hard for me to think that you're being pulled backward, especially a tractor beam from these size of ships. If we're like Death Star tractor beam or like Star Destroyer tractor beam, sure, whatever. But ship sizes like these and also probably game mechanic wise, the less you add as directions and ways they can go, the more the less you have to worry about for balancing design. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, I I think it's okay not having the backwards. <clears throat> I did think about that though that the the thrusters do go back, and so it, that does make sense. But in You're that situation right there, range. Yeah. Rose sadly ends up with just a single calculate. I mean, Libo, your your point, I get it. I know that you can barrel them forward or back, but I mean, it's that's just due to game mechanics, right? Like that's just they because they just want to define it as a barrel roll or a boost. But I get it. You're right. Distance divided by mass times jelly roll equals tractor power. <laughs> Is Isophane here? Did he see the, the the option? Not that Did I'm aware of. So we have Zarya and Blue, I believe, since Blue is only one from dead. Dion, what is that emote? It's three pieces of Beskar. Oh, okay, I see it. I might have to put some some more shadowing in order for actually show it a little better. Yeah, I gotta put a black line there. Let's see if I could define it a little better. Rose going into blue. It looks like my mailbox. Oh, sad Rose. I don't think she'll have her own rerolls either. Did you guys just see Marcel's response? <laughs> it looks like my bit. Well, okay, I guess that one doesn't work. We move on. <laughs> you got a weird looking mailbox, Marcel. Yeah. What is that, Marcel? Really? Uh oh, I think that's the dead Zari. That's it. Oh no, that's no, on Rose. going into Rose. Yep. Rose will take one. She did miss a shot, so there's a must. Oh wait. Should she have had to shoot it? Did she have a shot on red? I don't know. 
Oh, ATP. Here's no, did ATP. not did not have a shot on red. Okay, good. Yes, my love. <gasps> Guys, <gasps> you made me a heart cookie. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. Do you want me to try this right now? Yes. Okay. Sorry, guys. Nom, 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 nom. High five. Good job, honey. Oh, that's that. Bye. Sorry. Oh, not yet. Maybe bye. What is the crit? What's in the box? Weapons failure. Oh, that's sad. Hit crit into Zari. Zari's got no defensive mods left over. That's a dead Zari now. Well, his rose against the world now. I believe. Um, JJ Abrams didn't believe. <laughs> no. I know. <laughs> Sad but true. Yeah. I know. Why didn't they let Rose be a real character in nine? Well, in I, I will say in the books, in the book. She does have more "quote unquote" screen time, but it's almost all with Leia. Is is the issue? So I'm um, what I've heard at least the speculation is that because a lot of the stuff that they were they had written in the script for her ended up being unusable. Oh, yeah. Sad. What? Yeah. But anyway. And Ryan Johnson is the true villain. First of all, it's Rian Johnson, R I A N. And two, he's not a villain. This is why I don't talk about sequels too much, because it's like when you go into the security holograms, only pain will you find. True. <laughs> yes. Uh oh, what is happening? What? Uh oh, it time. It's done. Oh Sorry. yeah, it's time done, dirt. It's all like, over. He just put everything in the okay, in the trash. That was funny. Uh, okay. Well, congratulations, Alex Smittle, winning that game, one hundred and sixty-nine to seventy-six.